fall like lightning. You got power to tread on serpents, scorpions, power over the enemy. And listen, you are so anointed. He added a caveat. He said, and nothing should by any means hurt you. Then he moved to verse 20. Notwithstanding, don't get happy over this. <laughs> Rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you. Did you get it? Oh yes, you have some power. Oh yeah, you can bring the word. You're right, you brought the house down when you prayed. You, mem you mesmerized the congregation with your PowerPoint presentation. It's true. And your name comes up at every federation. And they even ask you to preach at Pell. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You've increased the church by your 50 baptism. However, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not. Jesus throws caution to the wind. He throws out a warning. We must keep the joy of ministry's gift and power and success in right perspective because they can easily be wrong attributes. Don't be tempted. This is the only thing Jesus was teaching. Don't be tempted to focus on your own powers. Don't become overconfident. Don't become, don't become obsessed. Don't brag. Don't put all your sermons on Facebook. 